Heart Everyone here with more Dr. Decker and we are going to uh, temporarily move on from Bryce and talk to Claire. Let's see, got, got a lot for you Claire, but we shall start with hello. I've been to the lake house regularly, keeping an eye on David. I saw the girl again, the one I told you about. Hmm. She was playing outside. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna start right away with, uh, Bryce says David is in the ground. You sound confused. What exactly do you want to ask me? <laughs> Let me look at the notes. Um, uh, Bryce, Dryce, Bryce says your husband is in the ground. I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. Please be more specific. Alright. Your husband is in the ground. Well, that's what he would say, isn't it? Um, is, that, is that all? Okay, um, you saw the girl? I'm getting tired of all these questions. I'm getting tired of everything. We just started. Alright, let me look at that. I've been to the lake house regularly, keeping an eye on David. I saw the girl again, the one I told you about. She was playing outside. She was playing outside? I don't know anything about that. Alright. Um. Taking care of David at the lake house? Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Why is asking questions getting so hard? Taking care of David? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Lake house. Try asking me something I might know. You know about your lake house, David. That's not relevant here. David is relevant. He's your husband. The girl. I don't know, Doctor. <laughs> I've been to the lake house regularly, keeping an eye on David. I saw the girl again, the one I told you about. She was playing outside. Did you talk... Talk to the girl? I didn't speak to her this time. Okay, fine. Something about her made me feel uneasy. Hmm. I just watched her from the bedroom window. She'd caught a fish. She was holding it in her hands. Wait, is there not- oh no, there is. There's- there's a green dot, but it's hidden. Um... Uh... She caught... a fish? I wasn't close enough to see, but for all intents and purposes, it looked as if the fish bit her. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Nice. <laughs> Um, uneasy. Think, Doctor, think. I'm thinking! Your brain. I'm trying! All your notes if you have to. I'm using all, all my brain energy. Well, may maybe at least 60% of it. <laughs> uh, made you feel uneasy. I don't know what you're after, but I don't know anything about that. You do! I'll prove it! By looking at this again. I didn't speak to her this time. Something about her made me feel uneasy. Something about her made you feel uneasy? That's not relevant here. Why is it not relevant? Paper spike. A paper spike is an odd thing to use as a weapon. I suppose if it went directly into the heart, it might work. Or 
through his eye or perhaps through the air into his brain? Or was it just a frenzied, bloody mess of a murder? Do you know, Doctor? You seem rather excited by this. <laughs> oh man, my, my brain doesn't feel like it can handle this. <laughs> um, let me look at this. Ah yes, the underlying things I want to ask about. The neighbor, blood, steak knife, dead man, husband, murder. Decker was stabbed in the chest. David wanted to have a talk about our relationship. Okay. Not something any married person wants to hear. He said he'd been with Iris for about a year and that he loved her. He said he didn't love me anymore. Hmm. Which you know is a lie. You don't just fall out of love with somebody. I reacted badly. I grabbed the nearest weapon I could find, which happened to be the steak knife, and stabbed her with it. There was so much blood. I instantly regretted it. So, I fixed him. Fixed him? It was about a week later. I brought David back to life. Not with voodoo. Not with virginal sacrifice. I just willed it to happen, and it did. Dr. Decker told me it was possible, but only if you're not buried. He says once you're in the ground, there's no coming back. But until then, you have a chance at resurrection. Hmm. Resurrection? Is that spelled right? Yes, resurrection. But now that I've seen the results, I don't think there's anything holy about it. I think reanimation is more an accurate term. Like, I'm an evil necromancer, raising things from the dead. Reanimation? David was dazed and confused when I brought him back to life. As you'd expect. He was scared. He didn't want me to go near him at first. Which is understandable, as I did kill him. But I didn't really succeed in bringing him back. He wasn't a big talker before, but even monosyllabic words were more than what he seemed able to give me. Hmm. Wasn't a big talker? He made sounds. I could understand him, a bit. I thought he'd improve with time, like a child learning to talk, but he didn't. It's only recently that I've come to that conclusion that he's not going to get better. He's not going to be right again. I think it's his brain. At least he is safe where he is. His brain? I think his brain was already decaying during the week that he was dead. Important bits. So when I brought him back to life, I didn't heal him completely. Just gave him life in the state he was in. I mean, he's hunting and killing things and trying to roast them on fires he can only light with matches, but that's about it. He's your basic Neanderthal. So I have a problem. Hmm. There oh, are so many words there. All right. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Neanderthal. Try asking me something I might know. Okay. I'll have to look at this again. I think his brain was already decaying during the week that he was dead. Um, his brain was decaying. All right, makes sense. I think his brain was already decaying during the week that he was dead. Important bits. So when I brought him back to life, I didn't heal him completely. Just gave him life <laughs> in the state he was in. I mean, he's hunting and killing things and trying to roast them on fires he can only light with matches, but that's about it. He's your basic Neanderthal. Oh wow. So I have a problem. All right. Problem? 
I'm being charged with murder because the police don't know he's still alive and I can't get David to vouch for me for obvious reasons. I think it would raise quite a few more questions than answers, which is why I'm hoping that you'll be able to help me. Help you? I don't know what you're after, but I don't know anything about that. Okay. Let me look at that again. I'm being charged with murder because the police don't know he's still alive. Char charged with murder? I'm not sure what you're trying to ask. Are you? Maybe uh, try breaking it down. Okay. Charged. Considering the circumstances, I'd be grateful if you could see your way to declaring me temporarily insane at the time of the murder. To lessen my sentence. Because I'm not a killer. But I can't prove otherwise. You don't still think I'm a killer, do you, Doctor? I mean, you were really excited about that paper spike, but... No. I don't think you're a killer. Thank you, Doctor. So then you'll help me. I would you love to himself. help you. Yes, I will say that... You were temporary, temporarily insane. Thank you, Doctor. That's all I needed to hear. I put a question mark from at the end. Dr. Decker. But Dr. Decker wouldn't do that for me. Hmm. He wanted something else. Wanted something else. Dr. Decker teased me mercilessly about my alleged ability. He didn't believe I'd reanimated David. Once, he presented me with a dead mouse and commanded me to give it life again. I didn't, of course. It's not something I'd throw around lightly. He changed his mind about me eventually. And then he mentioned the girl. The girl? I'm getting tired of all these questions. Me too, honestly. But, you know, both both just gotta grin and bear it. Um, Decker mentioned the girl. He told me he'd locked up a girl in the basement of his house. Oh, you know. for me. And he asked me to reanimate her. Hmm? It was Iris. What? I said I couldn't reanimate something that wasn't death, and he said that wouldn't be a problem. Mm. So I agreed. Mm. I just played along. I was hoping it wasn't real. I assumed it wasn't real. But he was offering me what I wanted. A temporary insanity diagnosis. Huh. Well then. Claire says the girl in Decker's basement was Iris. Huh. Well now what do I... Uh... Iris? It didn't happen. Dr. Decker called me from his house to cancel. He was furious. He it's said that Iris Bryce had escaped fricked him over. and blamed me for it. He <laughs> said that I must have set her free after he told me about her. I knew it was all lies anyways. He was obviously titillating himself by reprimanding me. He knew I'd never want to speak to Iris again, so I couldn't prove it either way. Look at a good boy, Bryce. Doing a good thing. Let's see, wanted something else. Dr. Decker teased me mercilessly about my alleged ability. He didn't believe I'd reanimated David. Once, he presented me with a dead mouse and commanded me to give it life again. I didn't, of course. It's not something I'd throw around lightly. He changed his mind about me eventually. And then he mentioned the girl. Alright. Changed his mind. Dr. Decker asked if I could prove David wasn't dead, so I took him to the lake house. He saw that I was telling the truth. I can take you to see him too, if you like. 
Would you like to see David, Doctor? Mm, yes, I would. But I'm also curious if I just say no, like, nah. You, you don't need to show me him. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, actually. Because I know for sh sure that Jesse would probably say yes during his playthrough and I want to do something different to see what happens. No. I don't want to see David. Suit yourself. Hmm. Perhaps I'll bring David to see you instead. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at this Dr. again. Dr. Decker asked if I could prove David wasn't dead, so I took him to the lake house. He saw that I was telling the truth. I can take you to see him too, if you like. Would you like to see David, Doctor? Um... You took Decker... to the lake house? Think, Doctor, think. I'm you trying. All your notes if you have to. I'm trying my best, Claire. You don't understand. The doctor asked if I could prove David wasn't dead, so I took him to the lake house. He saw that I was telling the truth. I can take you to see him. Let's see. You saw... Um, I mean, uh, he saw you were telling... Telling the truth. I don't know anything about that. All right, fine. Yeah, right, we'll we'll forget about that for now. We're going to ask her about the police report. Let's see. I'm gonna ask about neighbor. Neighbor. My neighbors seem far more interested in my business than they are their own. The lake house only has one house opposite, and it was on sale for some time. I suppose I should have bought it. Hmm. Alright, I'll follow up to that. Let's see what the burp burp. Ah, blood. Blood. It's a messy business, stabbing someone. You'd imagine that it would be like slicing into a pie with all the filling just slowly mm. oozing out, but it's so much more dramatic. Like popping a cork of a bottle of champagne. Hmm. Blood sprayed everywhere. Okay. Um, steak knife. The steak knife was the closest, sharpest weapon I could lay my hands on. I didn't really have much time to think about it. Oh, whoops, not that. And... She knew a dead man. Uh, dead man? That's what it says. I can see you're confused. <laughs> the police say that David is dead, fatally wounded when I stabbed him. The coroner says that David's dead. Everyone says that David is dead. There was even a funeral. But I know. He's alive. Any follow up? Yes, there is. Oh, and to a steak knife, too. I'll finish up uh, doing this. Uh, husband. Husband. I don't know, Doctor. Okay. Murder. Murder. Alright, fair. Alright, uh, let's go with steak knife first. The steak knife was the closest, sharpest weapon I could lay my hands on. I didn't really have much time to think about it. Didn't have time to think about it? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Um, it was the closest weapon? Sorry, I don't know. Okay. Let's go to Dead Man then. That's what it says. I can see you're confused. The police say that David is dead. Fatal Fatally wounded. Oh. Okay. That's what it says. I 
I can see you're confused. The police say that David is dead, fatally wounded when I stabbed him. The coroner says that David's dead. Everyone says that David is dead. There was even a funeral. But I know he's alive. Funeral? He's buried at Henley Church. You can go see for yourself. There's even a headstone. One of your other patients was a poor bearer. Mm -hmm. I never forget her face. You should ask him. What do you think of Bryce? Smuggling a body out of a funeral can be difficult. Unless you pay the right people. Okay. Well, Clay is Am Cl Clay. Claire is Amber now. Um, I should tell Bryce that Claire says he's been smuggling bodies. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, there we go. Now we can probably get Bryce screen. And we'll, we'll take care of that in the next episode. So I hope to see you then. Bye.